Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and the next episode of the Sims Free Play Prince and Pocket Size Princess Quest. As we have said in previous videos, this is a global community event, which means everyone in their games is doing the quest at the same time and the same timing. So we're all unlocking the chapters together at the same time. So if you haven't unlocked it in your game yet, it's because you're waiting on everybody else playing the game to do it. Yeah, as of today, we have just unlocked chapter 4. Chapters 5 and 6 are still locked for everyone in the entire world. So let's go ahead and claim chapter 4, Fairy Frights. Congratulations, we have unlocked this chapter. And we're going to earn some new bedroom items, which is going to be really nice. One sprite's frustration gave the prince a scare. Your sim's intuition may end his nightmare. Okay, so yeah, this prince may be somewhere in our town, completely the wrong size. Call about the prince. Your sim thought about the best way to find a fairy prince in sim town and figured that Prince Finn would be pretty noticeable around normal sims. Probably because he's going to be dressed like a fairy guy. Maybe other sims have seen him. Have a sim call others about Prince Finn from a phone in any home lot. So who do we have here? We've got Rose Granger. Yes, is she a, a teen fan favorite. She is still a teenager. And um, we have a phone right here. Call about Prince for 48 seconds. Now, this yeah. is a three-star phone, I believe. So I think it'll be like a slightly probably, shorter time. Yeah, compared probably up to, to a, a minute on a normal <laughs> phone, I think. Now, yeah. everything seems pretty short for these quests, which, as we said before, makes a lot of sense because it's part of this wider event. Now, we have Rose Granger here dressed in her robe, her big fluffy white robe, because she's had a bit of a spa day because she was doing lots of gardening, as a lot of her family members and friends are doing right now in her yard. Oh, get the cat, get the cat. This seems to be a greatly abbreviated beachside escape. Like yep, you deleted I just the other lopped rooms. off all the rooms. <laughs> Because I wanted more of a workhouse. This was my one of my extension zones for yeah. doing this, this special event and getting everyone gardening while I was in the game a lot. So it doesn't need to be pretty. It's just for people to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What has she found out? Check under a bed. Well, that didn't go as planned. Every sim thought it was a prank call. One of them suggested that magical creatures often hide under the bed. No harm in checking. Have a sim check under a bed for the prince. We have a one-star bed right next to her but we have this might be a two-star bed there yeah although it'll take her more than six seconds to walk there <laughs> <Sorry>. so <laughs> next time listen to me call a sim to the magical rainforest your sim found nothing but dust this isn't working at all maybe princess moira can tell your sim a bit more about prince finn's personality that could help the search send a sim to the magical rainforest via the town map. I mean, let's just go to the park. <laughs> we spoke about this in the last chapter. Yeah, so but, cool. you know, he's not going to be ready for us until the quest is ready for us. Yeah. Ask about the prince's personality. When your sim arrives, Princess Moira is pacing and fiddling with a leaf. She is clearly worried about this whole situation. Have a sim ask her about Princess Finn's personality. What did you say? <laughs> Have a sim ask her about Prince Finn's personality. Guess a comfortable place for the prince. Prince Finn only liked adventures in his books. Princess Mora wipes a tear from her cheek. He must be so scared about becoming big without warning. He may need something familiar. Have a sim guess what place would be comforting to Prince Finn and tell Princess Moira. Somewhere with nature, with trees? Mmm, somewhere with books, reading area for five mm -hmm. minutes. Because he's a bookworm. It's been made clear, yeah. like, basically the only thing you know about Prince Finn is that he likes to he read. He likes books, but he does live in a garden-type place. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and skip this because it's five minutes as opposed to one minute. And now it says, okay. yeah. Send a sim home. Yes, Princess Moira exclaims. If your sim creates a nice reading area for Prince Finn, he may find refuge there. Your sim can't wait to try it out. Send a sim to any home lot, and I think I know just the place in the... Slightly ripped apart beachside escape. There's actually a, a little area with a bookcase. So That's maybe true. we can make that a nice little space. Place a reading chair. Your sim remembers finding a reading chair in the magical forest. That could be the key to creating a comforting space for Prince Finn. Have a sim place a chair in a home lot. 
So at the back left of the main room here, right. that's where the bookcase is. And actually there's space there for a chair. We're going to put in a chair from our inventory because... We're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that works. Cool. Analyze the setup. With a reading chair in place, your sim wants to double check that the setup is just right. Have a sim analyze the setup of the reading chair. Okay, we had to place the chair somewhere else in the room because the bathtub and all this was blocking our yeah. sims. I don't way. know why that bathtub is where it is. I don't know why either, but, but yeah, this is. is your workhouse. Yeah. But this mm. is this is constantly a question we get asked about why a sim refuses to do something, like why they shake their head and feet appear above their head. And it's because usually the object that they're trying to reach is not reachable because they can't walk to it, there's something blocking the way, or maybe the object is not turned around the right way. Yeah, so that is just well. a tip for you guys on future quests and tasks where your sim refuses to do something. Unlock the next chapter. Your sim learned that Prince Finn may not have been ready for an adventure in the big world, so they created a comforting reading area for him, hoping he'll show up. The combined collections of the Sims Free Play community will unlock the next chapter in this story. And it looks like the next time around we will win this... Ooh, the pinecone tree. And some rugs as well. Cool. So, as we said in all of our previous episodes, if you want to see all of the various items that are unlocked from this quest, then check out our special preview holiday 2016 video, and that'll have all that stuff. But chapter four looks like has unlocked some bedroom stuff for us. We have a bed, a chest, and a maple leaf table. I think the table is my favorite of these three. Well, the chest is like... The, I think the chest and table <laughs> uh, can be used in most places. Mm -hmm. The bed is a little bit more niche, but these are all really beautiful items. Yep. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of Chapter 4 of the Prince and Pocket Size Princess Quest. Please let us know in the comments what you think, and if you are new to our channel, please feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play on the way. Thanks for watching!